Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Ukraine and NATO and paths, statements. But most importantly, we're going to talk about a new program, a center that is being put together. Okay, so NATO got together recently and they generated a bunch of headlines, but the biggest development isn't what's catching the press because it didn't have a good sound bite, I guess. Uh, but we'll go over all of it. Okay, the first part, the thing that is getting the most ink, is NATO saying that Ukraine is on a, quote, irreversible path to NATO membership. That would not occur until after the war was over. Uh, another thing that is catching a lot of press is NATO calling China an enabler of the war because of their support of Russia. I mean, yeah, those are both statements, and I, I get it, but realistically, none of that is a surprise or a change to the status quo. What is a big change is NATO putting something together that I believe they're calling the NATO Security Assistance Ukraine, um, INSATU, I think is going to be the acronym. It is to, at this point in time, they're saying supplement the Defense Contact Group, which that's the group that was working to make sure that Ukraine had what it needed. The new NATO center as I understand it, will be based in Germany and be led by an American three-star. They will help with training, and my understanding is that some of that training of Ukrainian troops will occur in allied countries. They will help with maintenance and repair of equipment. They will streamline delivery of aid and assist with logistics. Okay. So, why is this happening? They're trying to Trump-proof it. When Republicans were playing games in the House with the funding, those games led to Russian gains on the battlefield. Um, this stuff doesn't exist in a vacuum, and what occurred on Capitol Hill had tangible effects over there. Um, they're, they're trying to Trump-proof it and make sure that if Trump was to end up in the Oval Office again, that Ukraine would still have the assistance it needs. So, aside from them setting up a new center, why is that the important part? Because of what it says. Setting up something like this, led by an American three-star, I want to say a staff of 700. The short version here, the troops will not be home by Christmas. This is something that would be a... Uh, this would be put together for a multi-year commitment. It does not appear that NATO believes that this conflict will end anytime soon. And they are gearing up to provide assistance, training, logistics for as long as it takes. Um, something like this being set up, it's not, it's not a short-term thing. Right now they're saying it's to supplement the defense contact group. I would imagine that over time it will replace it. Um, they went out of their way to say that that wasn't the case. I am skeptical. Uh, I, I feel like if this drags on, that's going to be what happens. Um, all of this taken together, it's another signal to the Kremlin that regardless of any campaigns that Putin may be orchestrating in Europe, 
that NATO is not going to walk away from this. This is, uh, again, this is a clear indication that NATO anticipates this conflict going on for quite some time. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.